Hi everyone, my name is Willie Chow with the Cisco Worldwide Partner Organization Emerging Technology Go-To-Market Team. Let's spend some time to reveal one of the most commonly used architecture with our connected grid router and switch. The electrical utilities are the major provider on energy in most countries. Because of this, it is critical that utility maintain the high levels of availabilities and security for its customers. Its customers include individuals, consumers, as well as other utilities. In many cases, if service level agreements are not met, utilities can incur millions of dollars in fines. In order to maintain such levels of availabilities, protection and control is critical for the utilities. When we discuss substation automation, we are referring to the ability of the utilities to collect more information from the substation infrastructure. Then use the information to make decisions more accurately and quickly to be able to improve the quality of service to their customers. The SCADA system is one of the many critical applications for the utility operations. Most utilities today leverage the SCADA as a polling mechanism to monitoring and control many of the critical process within the substation environment. Complementary to the protection and control is the grid network monitoring. Within the scope of the grid network monitoring are the critical elements of the network and security management. For example, being able to securely gather, transport, view, and store critical data, and also access the data, make intelligent decision in a timely fashion. For instance, receiving data from a sensor and be able to make the adjustment needed to prevent an electrical outage. Through a substation automation, operators are able to make decision quickly to preserve the overall health of the grid. In order to be able to send and receive critical data in the real time, utilities need to have reliable and secure communication infrastructure in place. This will support the ever-growing data traffic to and from the substations. In this architecture, we will be using a public or private MPLS core for the communication within the substation. Let's take a deeper look into the substation. We find several components which comprise an end-to-end -end solution. First, let's look at the role of the CGR, or the Connected Grid Router 2010. In this architecture, the CGR is used to aggregate the wide area network connection. The CGR is comprised with IEC 61850 standard, which is the standard for the design of the electrical substation automation. The CGR also create a security separation required for the electronic security perimeters, or ESP. That was identified by NERC SIP standard. The electronic security perimeters contains all the mission critical cyber assets and leverage several embedded features including iOS zone based firewall, access control list, port security, VLAN, for logical segmentation of the traffic. More importantly, intrusion prevention system, or IPS, with utility-specific SCADA signature. Within the ESP, the substation bus is formed using a ring topology with three connected grid switches, 2520. Similar to the CGR, the CGS connected grid switches are also comprised with IEC 61850, which is the standard for design of the electrical substation automation, as well as the standard for the environmental and testing requirements for communications and networking devices with IEEE 1613. Connected to the substation bus are all the power components like the remote terminals unit or RTU, 
distributed controllers, intelligent electronic device or IEDs, including devices such as protection relays or sensors. In this case, we have a mixture of legacy serial relays connected through a substation gateway, as well as IP-enabled IED, which connected directly to the connected grid switches. We also observe the different traffic flow in the skater polling traffic, which flow from the IEDs through the substation bus over the wide area network to the control and operation centers. With the CGR 2010, users are able to apply different levels of quality of service, as well as ability to create logical segmentation within the network in order to comply with substation regulatory requirements. On this side, resides the multi-service Ethernet rings, which allow utilities to integrate advanced services such as remote workforce management, Cisco Unified Communication, as well as to provide service like physical security for NERC SIP compliance using Cisco Physical Access Control solution. I hope at this point you have a better understanding in how the CGR and CGS can create a layer of additional services. With these architectures, and the Cisco version become more compelling to our customers. For the most updated substation automation solution information, please refer to the link below. Thank you for watching this section of the Connected Energy Networks Substation Automation Architecture Overview.